What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Sneaker How a Budget, one of the hardest working sneaker ads on YouTube. Go leave a like, share, subscribe. YouTube be holding us down right here, Budget fam. Damn. All right, so boom, this is one of the toughest videos I have to make every year. It's pretty much a year in review of what I purchased. So let's preference it again, because I had some in the previous videos. This is all the shoes that I bought this year. It doesn't have to be from 2022. Just anything I purchased this year, how I rank them and how I like them. That other video is coming out soon. It's also hitting up on the podcast. So check out the podcast when you get a chance. Link it in the description below. We're also trying to get the 2K. So help you boy out. If you like this kind of content, definitely, definitely. Jump on, the, jump on the train, jump on the train. So let's go ahead and do this. So let's talk about the top 10 sneakers that I have purchased over this past year. I've had a lot of ups, had a lot of downs, had a lot of wins, had a lot of losses. But in, in return, from the shoes that I've got, I got a good amount of shoes this year. Some shoes didn't make the list because not that they're they're whack, but I wouldn't say they're top 10, but definitely shoes that stay in the rotation. These shoes are definitely ones that stay in the rotation, shoes that I've been seeking after. So some them things that was on my little list of stuff I had to get, and I finally got it. Sorry, I ended up getting cold, so I had to put a sweater on because my gosh, it is freezing out here. But again, let's get into this list. Now, there's a few shoes that didn't, that, like I said, didn't make the cut, but I gotta start off with number one. The number one shoe that should be on everybody's list. I don't care if it's best of 2022 or your top 10 pickups of 2022. Your best shoe, the number one shoe that I've caught this year has to be these Panda Dunks. I mean, look at the versatility. Look at the material. I was just bullshitting. And you know this, man. Hats, wait. I'm messing with y'all. <laughs> but I will give the Panda Dunks its due. After 3,000 releases, these pretty much come with a stimulus check. These are everywhere. These are everywhere. So you got to give Panda Dunks their love and respect. They've taken over the game. People say these are new Air Forces. So I will throw these in my honorable mentions of top pickups this year. Be oh my God, what is that? Another one. Wow. Top pickups this year because look. Low top pair. Got my wife a pair. I got a dead stock high top pair sitting right here. Don't know if I'm gonna actually wear these. Probably not because the black and white Jordan ones is coming out, and I'd rather wear these. I'll probably just either trade these or sell these. But it's pandemonium, so you gotta get pandas they respect. All right, let's get into the actual honorable mentions. All right, so I have them all listed. Oh, uh, listen, all here in front of me as I'm looking at them. So if you see me look down and pull them up, either I'm changing my mind or I'm moving them at the same time. So g give me some grace. So um, some honorable mentions for me, all right? I'm looking at these shoes. I have two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten. I got 12 shoes in front of me. So two shoes are going to instantly be in my honorable mentions. One of those shoes are going to be the Bart Simpson Dunks. Um, I love this dunk. Uh, they got me when I said these were not going to be releasing in uh, the United States. Uh, in any shops or anything. They released in Europe, and then they did a shot drop in the United States, but still, there's definitely a colorway that I appreciate. Hold on, you guys can't even see the shoe. There's definitely a colorway that I appreciate. Definitely a shoe that is something that means something to me, because I do like it. I definitely want green laces. So this is definitely an honorable mention of pickups this year. And then my other honorable mention of pickup this year. gonna be tough. I'm gonna go with these Taxi Ones. Taxi Ones, definitely a good album that you to pick up this year. Definitely this color blocking is dope. Uh, I feel like every, almost every color blocking that comes like this comes out correct. So I definitely gotta add this on my list because these are definitely some five five right there. Let's get into this top 10. All right, so the number 10 pair that I know that I caught this year that I really appreciate was this Air Jordan 1 Rebellion at. Now I know I got a lot of a lot of flack when it first came out. People were saying it was hot, people were saying it was corny, people was calling these a bunch of names. I definitely felt these. I definitely liked them. I definitely dug into the story. I definitely got lost in the sauce when you know there's explained when Jordan Brand was going through all this like this is why this is cool. And I was like, Yeah, it's cool because this yeah, I, I got lost in the sauce when it came to those. But you can't deny the detail, the X in the back. The writing on the side, it can't stop you from wearing these. It, it's just, it's a cool little homage to the Jordan 1 bread, I mean band, um, which, you know, the shoe that people are like, well, if you're going to do an homage to the band, you might as well make these band, which, 
you know, you, you write and write. But this shoe is actually really dope. I actually like it. It stays in my rotation, as you can tell by the some of the creases there. It stays in my rotation. But as you see, I just love the detail they put in this. Love the little effort that they put in this. So this is definitely top 10 in my books. Number nine. Number nine is going to be... I'm looking at it and I don't know how to break it down. Number nine is going to be these Huff Dunks. Now, I do love what they did with the mystery pack. This is probably the reason why it's up here because um, it is a shoe that kind of brought me back to like being a sneakerhead. It was a mystery. You didn't know what pair you're going to get. So I do appreciate that. I do need to cut the slides off so I can get that tie dye that's going to be hidden under here. But I do love what they did with the shoe. I love the details. I love the Huff right there. I love the laces. The back detail, this has 3M. You can barely see it on there, but that's 3M on the back where the city is. And this is just a cool pair. They had, came with three, the friends and family, the New York pair, and the San Francisco pair. I'm from the Bay Area, so this pair actually is the one I wanted. So I definitely appreciate this. So this is definitely in my top 10 at number nine. Number eight. Number eight for me is going to be these Air Jordan 1. I just, I just, oh my God. Air Jordan 3. Don't kill me now. Air Jordan 3 Fire Reds. Now, this is a shoe that just means so much to me. Uh, when when I was going to middle school, high school, um, they released the retro pair. Um, I didn't have the retro pair, but I ended up selling them. They released a retro pair, and just everybody in my school had them. And so I kept seeing them over and over again. This is definitely, they did cut these as the OG was way back when. So I love the cut of this. I love the elephant print. Everybody likes that Nike Air on the booty. So this is definitely a shoe that is in my top 10. Some people even consider this the sneaker of the year. Um, it just means a lot to a lot of people, this colorway. And it's definitely some honor. It's my childhood, me growing up. So I definitely have to make this number eight. Number seven. It's going to have to be these. Now, this is a sleeper shoe. I recently did a review on this shoe, uh, showed it a lot of love because it deserves it. I shit on Adidas all year long, and they actually did it totally correct with these. These are probably now my favorite, favorite holiday shoes, The Rock, and that's going to be the Adidas Forum Grinch because of the extra details they did. The furry suede, you got the giblets on there. Everything was done correct with the shoe. The packaging, from the box to the extra laces with the red tips with the Grinch on it to the extra insoles to the inside of these insoles they did so much work with these that i could truly appreciate and this is definitely my favorite holiday shoe so far it's the only holiday shoe i got in my collection because all the other ones are skyrocketed in price but this is definitely one of my favorite holiday shoes every time i look at it i get i get the the feeling of when i first opened the box right and when i wear these so many people appreciate them and so many people even people who are non-sneaker has always stopped and try to figure out what these are and when they're like it's a grinch right and i'm like yeah they get it because it's so dope and definitely look at the extra detail on it i mean come on this is definitely a sleeper of the year and it's definitely in my top pick so this is definitely number what is this number seven this is number seven number seven all right, now I'll be down to six. Now this is where it gets tough. I'm looking at all these shoes in front of me, and this is where it gets tough. So number six, the sixth pair that I considered my top pickup. I'm going to say, I like doing this live with you, not just like coming up with it. I like just thinking about it with y'all as I'm looking at it. It shows real reaction, like real people. Uh, I'm going to have to go with these Ferrari 14s. Now the reason why these Ferrari 14s uh, mean a lot to me and the reason why they're in my top list is because I purchased these originally uh, I have a, a cool cool people who can hook it up and I ended up jumping the gun when it came to these I ended up spending a little over because I couldn't wait and I didn't know if I can get them so I ended up spending more and then the price kind of dropped to where it was like more manageable than what it was but you know your boy had to get it and then they end up getting stolen which is fine you know as, as years go on you start adapting getting older and you know and so I was in to get these back in my collection. And so I really actually appreciate these as I got them back in my collection. And what makes these cooler is I restored them. So I had these, they look really busted. And there's actually a video of me restoring these, I believe. And they look really busted. And then I got them back to looking normal. And as you see, these bad boys look fresh as hell. Look at these. This is definitely one of my favorite shoes of all time. And it's definitely a top 10 pickup of this year. Now we get to the nitty gritty. This is where it's going to get even tougher, right? So I'm looking at these, and I do got to say at number five, number five pickup of the year is going to be 
these Ama Manier 4s, which, it can be, which it could be considered a lot of people's sneaker of the year. All right, great detail. Love the texture, love the additionals, love how people swapped out the laces and turned into something else. Definitely a great shoe. I will say the insole makes the shoe slightly uncomfortable, but it's great detail on that, and I do like the meaning of the shoe. I will make it top five, and it's definitely gonna be in, in a high placing on my end of the year list just for shoes that released this year. But I do have to say, this is definitely a top five pickup for me this year. Now, sticking with the family, I'm gonna have to say, my number four are going to be the Amamanier 3s, which is a really cool thing. I love the Nike Air in the back. Both of them have the Nike Air in the back, just to be, just to be sure. And Amamanier, I, I, don't, I don't feel like they had a truly a miss when it, came to the, when it comes to the releases. I feel like all of them are pretty good. I do want the rest of them. I want the 2s and I want the 1s. But I just so happen to got the 3s first. And I'm loving the details of these, the laces, all the extra stuff. Like, they really put a lot of effort into their shoes. And I can really appreciate that. And I really appreciate the story they try to put behind it. So, definitely, this is my number 4 pick of the year. Only because, uh, just the extra, like, at first I thought it was all hype about this shoe. But when I bought it, when I got it in hand, I really realized, like, why people love this shoe. And this is a, a lot of people's sneak of the year from the year previously. So, I'm here is actually doing something right if they got a lot of sneak of the year candidates. So, I do appreciate that, and I do love this shoe. All right. Number three is going to have to be these De La Soul Dunks. All right. I cop De La Soul Dunks for like 40 bucks at a Ross way back when. If you follow the Ross Finds, you know. If you was a, you use a Ross Finds OG, sneak ahead on a budget. Ross Finds OG when it was, uh, uh, I forgot the name I usually have. I used to have. But this shoe I found on it and I was really excited about it. Really dope. Really love this shoe. But because of some financial things, I had to sell them and I didn't want to. So when I was able to get these back in my collection, definitely is one of the top my top favorite shoes of all time and i definitely love the extra stuff on this shoe it's a classic to me and i've never let this thing go again as we know but definitely my number three shoe pickup of the year just the fire uh, you don't really see many people rocking these and uh, which is great and it's just such a every time i wear this shoe it gets appreciated and so definitely a top shoe of the year all right, I got two pairs in front of me. One pair you guys might know already. One pair, if you if you remember, you might know. So, number two pickup of the year is going to be who? Number two pickup of the year is going to be these Union Four Guavas. People are probably gonna kill me when I see my number one. But these Union 4 Guavas is my number shoe pickup of the year because of how I got them. Um, it was a crazy story. I was like checking out GOAT and stuff and just looking for the shoe. Price was astronomical. When the first the shoe first came out, I hated on it so bad. I hated the shoe, absolutely. Then as it kept going on, I kept seeing the shoe, made the shoe on 2K for laughs and giggles, and I started to grow on me so bad that I started to freaking love this shoe, which, you know, everybody has a thing. And so, I had to get in the collection, shut up on GOAT for a really good price. I ordered it, came really fast, because I guess the spot was super close. It came through. I was actually traded the Travis Scott Air Max 1 that I uh, purchased from Alma Minier a few months back. I actually were able to sell that, use that money to get this. And so, as you can see, definitely a top pickup of the year. Um, I love it. And every time I release, I get the looks too. Like everybody's like, what are those? What, what what you got on your feet? Not what are those and what are those. Don't disrespect. But like, <laughs> see on the feet. So I definitely love this shoe. It's definitely one of my favorites. And number one, because of what I had to go through, the when and then the L, canceling my order, all this extra effort is going to be Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. And the reason why is going to be this. It's a version of Chicago. Chicago colorway is a is a big staple in me. I'm a Bulls fan. I'm a Jordan fan. This shoe means a lot to me. I love the story with the lost and found, the receipt, the box, the distress, all that. Look at the extra details they put in there. Yeah, the release was a little botched and the release was a little weird. It just adds extraness to this to this shoe. Um, it's just it. This shoe is definitely my top 
my top shoe. It's a Chicago. I definitely want to get another Chicago, but when it comes down to a Chicago shoe, I never had an actual Chicago shoe. I had the mid, the, the patent mid, but I didn't have this. So this is definitely my top shoe of the year. I want to hear what are your top 10 pickups of this year? You see mine, you can critique, you can agree, but at the end of the day, it's all love. You can follow me on Sneakerhead on the budget on Instagram. Do all my piece on Twitter. I'll check out later. I want to hear what your list is. Peace. Hope you love all of my shit. I hope you love all of my shit.